back i reviewed a keyboard and mouse for console gamers that thing worked not only for the xbox one and ps4 but also the nintendo switch it did cost 130 dollars us which might be a little much for some of you that was really your only option until i found this little device this thing is the kx adapter lets you hook up a wired keyboard and mouse with all of your consoles keep in mind it doesn't work with a wireless keyboard and mouse and it is compatible with the Xbox One, the PS4, a PlayStation 3 if you still haven't upgraded, as well, most importantly, the Nintendo Switch. There's a ton of options available when it comes to the Xbox One, the PS4, but this is really one of the only ones for the Nintendo Switch, which is why when I demonstrate setup and how this device operates, I'll be using the Nintendo Switch. Let's first look at what you get inside of the box. And here we have the KX adapter as well. You do get a USB-A to USB-C adapter. And there is also a user's manual. With this adapter, everything is pre-programmed so you can't really program your keys. However, what's nice is a user manual will tell you exactly how everything's mapped. So here we have the instructions for our Xbox One. Here they are for a Nintendo Switch controller, a PS3 controller, a PS4 controller, as well as a nice little summary table with all the key mapping. And here's my Nintendo Switch. When it comes to first person shooters, there's a limited library with the Switch. Of course, we're gonna get Apex Legends soon, but until then, Fortnite is the biggest title available. And that's what I'll be using to demonstrate how this thing actually works. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is change the settings. So go into your settings, go into controllers and sensors and make sure you turn on pro controller wired communication once that's done for portable mode we can use this adapter and plug this thing directly into the nintendo switch you'll see a green light light up right here and then for the keyboard and mouse we're going to use these two ports Remember, wired keyboard and mouse only, so one of them will take the keyboard and one of them will take the mouse. Once those are plugged in, you'll see that both of them will light up into this red color. And we're ready to rock and roll. All the key mapping is fairly straightforward. If you played a first person shooter, the mouse, you got the right trigger to shoot. This is really to aim or sniper. So let's go ahead and start the game. I mean for 20 bucks it doesn't hurt to try it out. It's not a steep price to pay here. And if you don't like it you can always return it. It is Amazon so you're not really risking much here. I'm just going to land right over here. So yeah, there you have it. Mouse, right trigger to aim. There you go, fire button. The aiming's pretty good. You got the movement over here. Jumping, switching between builder and shooter. This is the Y button. I mean, all the keys are straightforward. Nothing tricky here. Yeah, you can see it works really well. I mean, the aiming I feel is better and easier with the mouse and keyboard. There I got some K 
kills. I got about three kills right there. Now, it does say that this thing doesn't work with the switch light. I'm going to try it out worth a shot. Again, make sure you go into the settings and pro controller wired communication needs to be turned on. Hopefully this doesn't brick my switch. I don't think it will. And what do you know? It actually does work on the switch light. So the guys that make this, make sure you update your Amazon page to say that this thing does work with the switch light. Let's try uh, Warframe. Now you can't really use a keyboard to type. Yeah, no problem, no problem at all on the Nintendo Switch. You can see it works really well. It's actually pretty good with Warframe. Uh, I'm actually having quite a blast here playing with a keyboard and mouse. And for 20 bucks, I mean, can't go wrong. Nice option to have. And there we go, this guy's down. Now on dock mode, it's really easy to set up as well. You take off this adapter and plug the KX adapter directly into the dock. Now, of course, you can play on the big screen and have a blast. It works with almost all consoles, your PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, the Switch, as well, surprisingly, the Switch Lite. There's a few restrictions. For example, you can't use a Logitech or a Razer brand. In my case, I was using an older Alienware keyboard and mouse, so that did work. But pretty much everything, sort of the cheap ones off of Amazon will all work. So that's it. That's all I have for today. I hope that was a helpful and interesting video for you. If this little device is something that interests you, there is a link in the description below. So feel free to check it out and make sure you subscribe for all future content. Thank you. Take care, guys.